Hi, I'm Pete Fruin from The Absolute Sound. We're here in Berlin, Germany to visit Burmester. We're here to have a factory tour, look at the assembly of some of their products and interview some of their people. The vision for the company is, well, first of all, we, we have to preserve our heritage, uh, which we are very lucky to have. And, but secondly, we also have to take big steps into the future. And I think that's the main goal that everybody has and everybody knows and is eager to do. Biggest project of 159, which were products for a completely new range, like the signature line we call it. It was very, very interesting to find something that is on the one side still Burmester DNA, but is one, one louder, you know, <laughs> like, like the reference and uh, feels, feels like a Burmester product and fulfills the customer needs to have something on top. Like, this is a very successful company as it is. So somehow it's all there. And it is more about prior, prioritization, bringing it in the right order, a little bit about focusing, but also being open for future uh, requirements. My name is Thomas Schneider, I'm the quality manager of Bomister. My responsibility is not just about the overall product quality, it's also about the, the quality of the processes and the procedures we have in place to ensure that the quality of the product is what we are expecting and what our customers are expecting. If you take a look here to, to one of our yeah, most famous products, the 159 here. So it is not just about the quality of the entire product here, it's also related to the quality and the effort we put in to all the modules which are in, 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 in the product here and to ensure that we have each detail tested before we assemble the entire product. So we have a key eye on it so to have a check before we assemble it and then have the final check of the entire product. So that's very important here especially on this um, big unit and this big product here. The entire time we need to build up and assemble it, test it module for module and then put it together and test it, um, the entire product at the very end is around six to seven days. So uh, that means it includes with the assembly, testing on module level, testing the entire product, put it together, measures, have a test run over a day and longer to ensure the um, the measurements and the values are we expecting then also on the customer side and then it gets packed, it get, gets cleaned and get the final check then on our side. Yeah, one, one thing which is also very important when we look through the requirements from the market to our products over time, so we have a um, strong increasing requirements from the certification standpoint, so over the years the, um, the requirements from the approval sites um, are raised up. And so we not just have the um, requirements from the European market, so we also pay attention to every specific market um, uh, where we would like to put our products in. So, and we have the special requirements and we need to um, take an eye on that, what's needed in a specific country to put our products there uh, in conformity. Yeah. So does, does each project, product satisfy the requirements of each market. You don't make adjustments to... Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So that must be difficult. Oh, correct. Yeah. The first view of, on our side is oh, which market we would like to put this product in mm -hmm. and then to make the preparation for the specific markets step by step based on the um, certification for the European market. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the point and that's the workflow behind that. So, and when it comes down to what, what is really um, important from the quality standpoint, and we say the overall lifetime of a product is, we really put a lot of effort, time, manpower, and measurements into the quality of the whole units, just to be sure that we, so we never expect the product seen back on our side for servicing or for repairing or maintaining. Um, but that also means that um, to get this, to get this result, to get the product in this place, we would like to see it there, it's really needed to really pay attention to every detail, to pay attention to every tight limit we put here in place, to every measurement we would like to see with tight tolerances. 
So that means, on the other hand, it's a really a big effort on our side, but then it helps us and at the end the customer to have a product which, yeah, you can buy it and you can, you can keep it for a lifetime. Sure, okay. sure. Excellent. PCBs from our side are currently under work here. Okay. So we have here an assembly line, manually crafted, handmade, assembled, and then it goes here to the flow. So we have here a unit from the 159 product, which is currently under work here. And one of the good things is to have everything in hand is that you really get direct feedback from the production side if there is something wrong, if there went something not in the right direction we would like to see. Then we have the feedback from the guys here and they said, okay, there's something wrong. Let's fix it as fast as we can. <laughs> okay. So here we are in the area of module level testing for our 159 product. So what happened here is that you can see what I explained before already is we have each specific module here on the table, which is tested before it gets assembled together in the whole, in the entire product. And Ronald is responsible for that. So, yes, okay. so yeah. Hello, uh, my name is Ronald Au and I'm responsible for our test field environment um, for the final stage and the pre-stage. Um, in this particular case, uh, this is a hard and this is the supreme discipline uh, of the complete test uh, operations. So what we see here is um, the pre-stage uh, in combination with the final stage. We always test them together because there are a lot of test points are belonging each other. So, as for example, uh, adjusting uh, the question current, adjusting uh, total harmonic distortion, which is very important. It stands for the quality of the product at the end, of course. So, and what you see here is a spreadsheet. The spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, uh, reflects about 100 uh, test steps. Um, so, as for example, we check um, voltage drops because we have dual power supply. And so it's very important for the linearity, for the frequency response, for the THD, um, to check all the voltage drops in symmetry of the complete uh, device. So what we also check is uh, the safe operating area, which we normally have a separate PCB, but in this case we have to check it step by step. And the test, proced test procedures um, are, if you want to say so, um, have an escalation process. That means, in other words, at first we check um, low voltages, as uh, for example um, reference voltages, maybe 5 volt or 12 volt, or what else. So, and step by step, we are increasing the voltage levels. That means uh, the later you check, the higher is it. Um, I don't say dangerous, but uh, you have to keep in mind that we are working with uh, high voltages, about 100 volts, uh, minus 100 and plus 100. So in the final, we check the, um, the voltage drops of every uh, final transistor. Um, uh, that means uh, the voltage drops, of course, of the emitter resistors. So. We can, um, or we are, uh, are safe that every transistor is placed uh, correctly 
and the whole stage is working properly as uh, we expect. So why are we doing all, all these things? You have to keep in mind that uh, all the or most of our components are manually placed. That means this, this one is an uh, exception because you see it's a surface mounted device. Um, manufactured automatically, of course, you, you saw it maybe in the background. But if you have people who are manually placing uh, components, they have to concentrate. But maybe you have uh, components sometimes, not often, but wrong placed. So um, maybe you have strange behavior and so that's the reason why we check um, visually at first. So and then we check all the voltages in order to be safe at the end. The, the time when we worked on the project in the BC350 and the 159, they were, um, the project started at the same time. The um, product, the, the teams challenged a little, a little bit each other mm -hmm. and everybody was searching for the marginal gains and said, okay, now we come a little bit closer, one step more to perfection. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was a little bit challenge between the, be between the teams. And uh, so uh, the two projects grow uh, on each other. Yeah. Sure. So this was a quite cool time, it was fun, it was cool and also then always to come back together and listen together and working for the same goals here. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so yeah guys, sure. so what you can see here now is besides our premium class product from the signature line, the 159 with all the things we put together over there is our latest release is the um, amplifier 218 and 216 which are here on the final testing from the electronic and from the measurements. Um, so what we, what we did here with those units is that we really put a lot of attention by developing them to see what, what's about in the unit itself with the heat distribution. So how we can overcome those things to really prolong and get the units in the field as long as we can. So really be safe that the components not stressed over time. So we really developed a completely new um, um, heating and um, cooling seen here in the, in the units. So what you can see also here is our module testing from the 159. So we also did it here on those units. Now here you can see it is assembled already, but the amplifier stages on the sides, the power supply stages here are tested individually to be sure before we put them together here then in the final product um, that it's running on our really tight tolerances we defined during our testing and our prototyping. So then we are sure power supply is running, amplifier stages are running, and then we can put it together. And then we will see in the next step, so because of we're not just putting all the electronic stuff for you together to get measurements out of it and some graphs. So at the end of the day, the customer would like to hear what we did and we also would like to hear what we did. So let's go to the hearing room and see what they're happening with our products, okay? Perfect. And you can see freshly the new 216, 218R here are waiting for the last test, the last procedure in our workflow here to get them out. It's really almost the guys here sitting in front of the loudspeakers connected with the amplifier and then he's hearing his stuff and then he's um, judging about it's good enough or it's not good enough and it goes back to the production if there is something wrong. It's not just about the numbers we have on the graphs and the, on the PC and the measurement system. It's about the ears of the guys who are sitting here together and really um, and the music sounds and then they said okay that's that's it or there's something wrong. Let's, let's check again if there is a phase error, if there is something with the polarity wrong or the gain is not that what we expect. So you can hear it here exactly and the guy is knowing that because of he has experience over years with hearing our amplifiers, our stuff, our electronics. So that's, that's Bomester is the last step before this goes to the shipment and to the pa packaging. But he has not just the limit we would like to accept from the numbers wise, it's his ear which said, okay, I accept this unit can go out. Once, when, when you come to the point that you listen the first time a new product or something, a new speaker, and, and you have a music and it touches you and you would fully into 
uh, then you know where your inspiration comes from. <laughs> so, uh, what is he doing for you? Is he striking for yeah, the perfect sound? Is it the perfect sound? I, I don't know. It's, it's called the honest sound. And you immediately feel if you're right when you're right. I mean, for sure, these days we, we make a lot of measurements also, but in the end, it's when you're sitting down and listen to the product and you're touched that you made it. The, the product is, is very attractive and everybody, it doesn't matter who it is, if it's the engineer or if it's the person who packs uh, the freight, um, everybody is very proud of the product we are uh, presenting.